بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ریگارڈنگ دا کانسیپٹ آف پروفٹ ہڈ دا مس کنسیپشن وی انٹین ٹو ڈسکس ٹو ڈے ریلیٹس ٹو دا فیکٹ دیٹ اے سرٹن انسیڈنٹ وچ ٹک پلیس ان دا ٹائم آف دا پروفٹ محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم اینڈ آن دا بیسس آف دیٹ انسیڈنٹ دا سپیریٹی آف دا پروفٹ محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم از ویلیڈیٹڈ اور پروون ناؤ دا انسیڈنٹ اٹ سیلف اسٹیٹس دیٹ ان ون ون اوکیژن ون ڈے پروفٹ محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم واز ریسٹنگ ہز ہیڈ آن دا نیز آف حضرت علی رضی تعالیٰ عنہ ہو اینڈ آف کورس ہی ڈوزڈ آف and the time was asr and the sun of course was going down and uh, the uh, ali did not deem it appropriate to wake up the prophet so he did not wake him up and it is said that the sun actually went down and uh, uh, the sun uh, sunset uh, took place and after that uh, the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam himself uh, awoke and he asked ali radhi taala anhu if he had prayed ali said uh, he not, had not prayed so the prophet said that he will pray to god to return the sun so that of course they could pray and it is said that when the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam prayed to god the sun arose once again now this is what is uh, is recorded is what is narrated and uh, it should be clarified here that uh, many of our hadith authorities like for example ibn al jawzi who has uh, compiled a book on concocted narratives called al mazwaat he has recorded this narrative in that particular book similarly hafiz mizzi and half is zahabi to offer very claim authorities have also regarded this, this whole incident to be a fabrication uh, we do know that there are some authorities of uh, hadith who have tried to uh, prove the fact that this narrative is not suspect however uh, we uh, can safely say that the opinion of half is zahabi and uh, half is mizzi as well as of ibn al-jawzi is has to be relied upon because the nature of this event also is such that had it taken place then this would have been reported by a large number of people Uh, the sun rising after a sunset something is something of course which is very very uh, something no less than a miracle and had such an incident taken place uh, this would have been reported in a much wider way in a much broader way and many people would have talked about this incident and many many people would have absolutely made this a basis of even accepting faith uh, uh, that it had taken place now we know that no such thing had uh, has ever taken place so therefore we can uh, safely say that this incident has absolutely no basis and muslims would do well if they disregard this and discard this this incident from their corpus of literature literature simply because the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam does not need the support of such weak uh, narratives to prove his superiority the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is is a, an acclaimed and acknowledged prophet of god and he of course uh, anything which is which is found in established history which is found in the quran itself or which is correctly ascribed to him in hadith narratives is welcome and we have to accept it but such narratives which are not only weak in their in their matn or in their in their content but also in their isnad or the chain of narration they cannot be accepted aqulu qawli haza wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa lisa'ir al muslimina wal muslimat